believe it or not, everybody has to start from somewhere. And these side hustles that these famous actors had, well, they might surprise you, they might shock you, they might just be a little bit interesting. And make sure that you stick around for a little message I want to share at the end of this rundown. Hugh Jackman, we all love a bit of Hugh. Who doesn't, right? And uh, imagine this, that you show up to school, uh, you've got a boring day at school, doing standard sort of school stuff, and you've got PE. Maybe PE isn't your favourite lesson, but it would be your favourite lesson if it was ran by Wolverine himself. Yes, Hugh Jackman used to be a PE teacher back in the day. Julia Roberts, we all know Julia Roberts, Ocean's Eleven, Pretty Woman, the list just goes on and on and on. And as Julia Roberts was actually cutting her teeth, starting out getting into the industry, yes, you'll never guess it folks, she worked at Baskin Robbins. Other ice cream shops are available. Matthew McConaughey, love Matthew McConaughey, love his work. Oscar winning actor. And Matthew McConaughey also comes from quite humble beginnings, letting that he started out by cleaning chicken coops. Now imagine this, you have a, a little knot in your back, you have some tension in your shoulders, and you need to settle down to get a lovely massage from somebody. And who could give you that massage? Who is trained to give you that very massage? Well, it's not other than Australia's finest, Nicole Kidman, everybody. Yes, Nicole Kidman studied massage therapy and worked as that before becoming the mega star that she now is. George Clooney was a late bloomer. He came to acting quite late on in his life. And before that, he had a colorful career doing all sorts of different stuff. Uh, most notably, he sold some women's shoes once upon a time and worked on a construction site, equally in touch with his manly side and feminine side. Love it, George. Going back to the chicken front now, we all remember Matthew McConaughey cleaned out chicken coops once upon a time. Well, this time we're going to a very familiar figure in Brad Pitt. Now, Brad didn't just clean out those chicken coops. He was an actual chicken. Well, not an actual chicken, but a dressed up chicken for a Mexican takeaway. And he stood outside the Mexican restaurant, ready to get people in the door. Perhaps one of Brad Pitt's finest acting roles. Not been paying your bills, been leaving them to the last minute, starting to get letters through the door about the amount that you owe. Well, you might at some point get a visit from a debt collector. And once upon a time, many moons ago, who would have been that debt collector knocking at the door? Yes, you probably haven't guessed it. Demi Moore. Demi Moore used to be a debt collector. Imagine that. I wonder if she had to rough anybody up. Back in school now, you've just done your PE lesson with the wonderful Mr. Hugh Jackman, and you're walking down the hallway to find uh, somebody's up a ladder fixing the lights and um, doing general jobs around the place. Um, and who is it other than the school janitor? And who is that janitor? It's Jim Carrey, everybody. Jim Carrey? Jim Carrey? I'm sure you won't mind. I'm sure you won't watch this video either way. But Jim Carrey used to be a janitor before he became famous. Final, final one on my rundown here. Uh, do you need a haircut? Do you need a little bit of a trim? Right now this video is being filmed in 2020, just after lockdown. You might be feeling a little bit vulnerable and delicate about who cut your hair. You want to feel safe, absolutely. Well, why not go and visit Danny DeVito's hairdressers, everybody. Yes, Danny DeVito trained as a hairdresser as well. So there you have it. I could have went on and on and on sharing all these side hustles that these amazingly famous actors have done throughout their careers. And of course, this was a lot, a lot of fun. I missed out some, like uh, Steve Buscemi, he was a firefighter. Christopher Walken was a lion tamer. There's a ton, a ton of stuff. But what is the learning that we can get from this? Because if nothing's actionable from these videos, then they're not worth doing whatsoever. What can we learn? Well, we can learn that every actor has to start from some place. No matter how talented they were, they didn't just show up and was off the hook with calls for auditions and film roles and things. Everybody's had to start from some kind of humble beginning. And that 
is probably very similar to the situation that you're in right now. Also, I really want to pick this apart here, is that none of these people, none of these famous, famous actors that we now see and put on a pedestal as these amazing award-winning actors and things, none of them had the ego or the problem with their pride of accepting the situation that they were in at that time and just getting a job, just finding a way that they can be financially secure in those in-between times that every single actor out there experiences. So my lesson to you is if you're feeling stuck in a rut, if you're feeling financially this is becoming an unviable thing for you to be chasing, then you really need to take a step back, find something that's going to get you through financially in those times where you're not acting because it's going to happen to everybody. It's just the statistics, people, that 90% of actors are unemployed at any given time and only such a small percentage, less than 1%, are going to be those actors who get called up and get offered film roles and film parts. So it is nothing to do with your ability as an actor, having to swallow your pride a little bit and embrace some kind of side hustle. And if it's a reality, if it's an inevitability that you're going to have to do, then why not embrace it and make it something that you enjoy? And if you're interested in exploring what your acting side hustle can be a little bit further, where you can fit into this mold, you might be a lion tamer like Christopher Walken. But if you want to find out ideas, if you want to find out powerful, powerful choices that you can make as part of your acting side hustle, then I have actually written a book that is specifically for actors. It's called The Ultimate Guide to Side Hustles for Actors. It is jam-packed, full of ideas that you can pick up and add to your side hustle game that you can use again and again and again that completely fit in with an actor's lifestyle. So if you're interested, I've dropped that in the description below. Now, I really hope that some of you take action on your acting side hustles uh, and feel inspired because of this video. If you'd like to share what side hustles you have had in the past as an actor, please drop them in the comments below. I think it's something that is not spoken about enough out there. And uh, if you like this sort of videos, if you like the sort of thing that I'm sharing right now, I'll be doing weekly videos on acting technique, tips, and having a mindset for success. So please click that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And I hope to see you some other time. Thank you.